Hey, what's up everyone? Maurice here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Power BI's text analytics feature, uh, specifically the score sentiment function. In my previous video, I discussed NPS, which is a great metric to measure, but to really understand your customer's needs, you need to look at the underlying emotions behind that feedback. The score sentiment function, which is a Power BI premium feature, is a great way to detect positive and negative sentiment when a customer provides text feedback. This could come from a survey, social media mentions, forums, or a review. So how it works, it evaluates the text input and returns a sentiment score ranging from 0 to 1. The closer to 0 indicates a negative sentiment and 1 indicating a positive sentiment. So personally, I feel that diving into the text feedback of your customers is more actionable than just looking at your NPS score. So you really need to look at several metrics to be able to problem solve. So I've seen good NPS scores, but the customer still signals that there's issues with the product or service uh, in their actual text feedback. So let's jump into a sample data set that I have here and, and at the end I'll show you how to visualize this data. So here's my sample data set and again you have to have Power BI Premium to be able to use this feature. What you're going to want to do is highlight the column that has your text feedback. In this case the comment column. Go over to Text Analytics select score sentiment and hit OK. And what I like to do is change this to a percentage. The other thing you can do, uh, and I'll do it here, is to group these into negative, neutral, and positive. And to do that, we'll use the conditional column under add column. We'll name this sentiment type so if score sentiment is is less than or equal to 0 0.25 then it's negative these thresholds you really have to test it out on your data uh, but to keep it simple under 25% or 0 0.25 uh, is going to be negative above 75 percent or 0 0.75 is going to be positive and anything in between is going to be neutral so if score sentiment is greater than or equal to 75 percent it's positive else neutral Hit OK. Make sure to choose the right data type. Change it to text. That's it for getting the score sentiment and the sentiment type. Click Home and Close and Apply. Let's create some visuals. Let's use, and again, it's your choice what visual you want to use. I'm going to use a stacked bar chart. I'm going to throw in the topic and then we're going to throw in the score sentiment so we have three topics here uh, tech support shipping and fulfillment and we can already see that the score sentiment for fulfillment is rather low another thing I'd like to do is add a word cloud and I got this from uh, to get the word cloud if you go to these three dots here get more visuals it'll open up another uh, window where you can select the uh, word cloud and I've already done that so I have it here I won't do that again I'll throw in the comments in here I don't like it rotated like that so I'm gonna turn that off and I also want to get rid of the stop words now I also want to add a donut chart in the middle here And this is where I'll add the sentiment type and then the score. I just want the count of the score. So 
And I think this is really powerful. If you want to improve a process, tech support, shipping, probably want to start with fulfillment. That's your, this is where the customers are giving you signals that there's issues with the fulfillment process. And if you highlight that, you can see the associated words um, in the word cloud. I think what would be more useful is to see the full review. So what we can do is we can add another table so we can uh, read the actual reviews. We'll do name, or sentiment, actual comment. Highlight fulfillment and you can read the uh, reviews. And if you just want to look at the, let me just change, let me change the uh, colors here. So negative, we'll do red. And then um, positive, we'll do blue. Neutral, we can do gray. So let's say you wanted to make some improvements um, for fulfillment. You'll highlight that, take a look at the uh, reviews, and you can sort by the sentiment and then go through the uh, feedback and then implement a strategy to improve that. Then you can monitor your scores to see if it improves. That's it for today. Just kept it real simple here. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if you need help with Power BI or have any questions, and I'll see you on the next one.